Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install PHP My Admin on your Apache web server. Now, you probably already know this, but PHP My Admin is just a, a user interface on top of your MySQL database that you can access via a web browser. So let's get on into the tutorial. And um, I do have a fresh install of an Apache web server, Linux Apache MySQL PHP, a LAMP server running at this IP address. So we're going to go start off by logging in via SSH to that IP address. And this is my first time and I do trust that connection. So I'll type in yes. And we are on that IP address now. We're logged in. And the first thing we want to do is to install PHP my admin. So we can do that with apt get install PHP my admin. And this will take uh, approximately 60 megabytes of space. So we'll continue that. And because we are working with an Apache web server and that's already installed, we can use Apache to serve the PHP My Admin pages. So go ahead and hit enter with Apache 2 ticked here. And there's a couple other configuration options that this is gonna ask us for, um, including the default configuration, which will pop up here in just a second. There it is. Uh, that's probably fine for your cases and then a admin or a root password uh, for the database. So I'll go ahead and type that in and I'll confirm that and it'll finish the installation here in a second. It's already done. Um, and the next thing we want to do is to tell Apache about the PHP my admin install because right now if we go to our IP address slash PHP my admin it's not going to know that that exists so back in our terminal window um, there is a file at uh, it's etc PHP my admin admin my ad e am I spelling it PHP oh PYP P php my admin and in here it's called apache.conf okay so we basically want to um, put that into the apache configuration file so back uh, here in etc apache2 and then apache2.conf uh, pretty much anywhere you want to but i'm going to put on the last line here we're going to say include um, etc Let's see if we can spell it right, php my admin and the apache.conf file. Okay, so um, once, it, just in order to tell Apache that we made those changes, let's do a system ctl restart apache2. Okay, so now if we go back to our web browser, we should refresh the page and see php my admin load, and we do see that. Um, now the next thing is to log in. How do we log in? Well, unfortunately there is some, well, not unfortunately, but there's some security that you can not allow uh, logins via root uh, by default. So you can go ahead and look at that, but I think the easiest thing to do is to just create a new user, um, which you're probably gonna do for your database anyway, and use that user to log in. So just for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and do that here. So we'll open up a MySQL command prompt and I'll use my uh, cheat sheet over here just so we don't, do any more um, text errors, spelling errors, typing errors. Uh, we're gonna make a user called Tony and his password's gonna be password. And we're gonna give him all privileges. Okay, he's gonna grant all privileges on all tables, all databases to Tony as long as I am on the local host. And then we will flush those privileges, i.e. we will apply those changes. Okay, so let's exit out of there and go back to our web browser here. And now we can use, uh, we shouldn't have to refresh the page. We can just type in Tony and then password to, t to sign in to PHP my admin and it accepted it. So um, we are now logged in. Yes, I know it's a weak password. We are now logged into PHP my admin. Um, this is not a tutorial about how to use it, but we'll just look at it real quickly. You got your databases over here on the left. We can expand them to see tables. Click on a table, you can do lots of things. Navigate around, change individual items. There's some tabs up here to interact with the table. And um, if you go to the homepage, interact with the database as a whole. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions about installing PHP my admin, let me know in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up to show me your support and to help other people see this video too, because that helps a lot when you, you know, interact with the video. 
give it a thumbs up, give it a comment, um, and especially subscribe to this channel to see more videos because if you do, I will see you in the next one.